I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at a bottle of Big Mofo Stout, a collaboration between Brodies from London and Mickler from Denmark, a 10.5% ABV Imperial Stout. Loving the branding from Brodies, loving the um, little kind of top on that. Looking at a label on top, and it's got the expiry date on the top there. But yeah, first bottle of beer I've had from Brodies. I've had lots on cask from them and I am a fan I've got to admit I actually think I met Mickle on the day that they brewed this um, I met him at the it was kind of like a meet the brewer supposedly uh, what he did at Brew Dogs Bar in Camden and um, he was a bit tired a bit hungover he'd been out the previous night with the last one brewed his but I think they got up early that morning, brewed a beer, battled on that hangover. <laughs> and this is, I think, what they produced that day. This is a couple of months back now. But yeah, so let's crack on. Beer in the glass. Absolutely black, opaque black. Maybe a slight kind of hint of dark brown at the bottom. The head, quite dark. It's darker than you can see on camera. A very dark, creamy looking, hot chocolate kind of looking head. Looks amazing. Anyway, let's check out the aroma. Oh, lovely. Reminds me of having, um, Brody's did a, um, I think it was a black IPA called um, Simcoe for breakfast. Estella for breakfast was out of this world. Oh, that's lovely. <clears throat> It's, it's got a real rich chocolate gatto quality. It's got a hint of ch dark cherries in there and be a bit of kind of like Kirsch or something like that. Because it's got a boozy, kind of fruity cherry edge. So maybe cook coconut, real bright raspberry coolie kind of quality. Yeah, it's really rich. Fruity berries, it's kind of summer fruits. If you did a summer fruit, fruit summer berry kind of like summer fruit pudding, um, with, uh, it's like an upside down thing, chuck a load of berries in there. So it's yeah, cranberries, blackberries, blueberries. There is a, a hint of really sweet candied um, orange in there. But yeah, really rich, kind of quite port-like at the same time. Sweet, dark chocolate though. Kind of really waxy chocolate. Those are dark malts, obviously. And a really fragrant coffee bean quality. It's not, it's got a fruity coffee quality. It smells amazing. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Mm. Wow, that's got a load of body. Wow, I had a stout in a while that's had as much body as this. It's so full and opulent and velvety. Wow, mm. Mm. it's Sunday night. It's a Sunday night beer. Slightly charred edge of kind of burnt rye bread. Loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of dark chocolate. Once again, I'm getting that kind of like big, rich kind of chocolate tart. It's got a bit, it's really rich, chocolatey, but with a slightly kind of that kind of chocolate, cum, cherry, mousse. There's something going on in there. So there's definitely a cherry quality in there. The coffee is much more prevalent in the mouth than it was in the nose. But same the, the the body's really full, but there is a nice bit of carbonation which keep, keeps it moving along. Rum soap raisins, maybe a hint of. And once again, a fruity, zesty berry. Cranberries, blueberries, 
raspberries but that's sitting alongside with that really heavy dense dark chocolate bitterness wow mm. did not expect this beer to be as good as it is it's absolutely amazing if you've not picked this up you're living in the UK beer merchants are selling this and probably by the time I post this it'll be all gone but wow that's an absolute cracker I think Mikkel does some incredible stouts, some of his best beers are his stouts. I've not, I think this is the first stout I've had from Brody's, I've had some amazing hoppy beers, but that is an absolute cracker. And it is a big mofo of a stout. Big mofo stout, it's quite hoppy, I did a burp, it is quite hoppy still. It's a beer, buy a lot of it, age some, drink some fresh, it's awesome. Bit of alcohol burn, sorry, I'm just kind of getting these extra notes as I'm signing off so that's big mofo stout brewed at Brodie's in london a collaboration between the guys at Brodie's and mickler 10.5 percent abv imperial stout wow some serious stuff i'm rob from hopscene.com i'll see you next time cheers <laughs>